so today is sunday so i have uh, come uh, to uh, make an english video of me so today is sunday so as uh, it was uh, you know i didn't go to gym because uh, today again is uh, is uh, is uh, like uh, i mean today is a rest day for me i mean uh, six days a week is uh, okay so today what happened uh, since i had to go to uh, on 12th i have my um, um a uh, psychiatrist appointment so today i uh, took uh, my sugar panel test so uh, my sugar panel test uh, at apollo so all my reports are okay i mean uh, they still that they uh, you know you have if since you are doing a sugar panel test you can do a um, means kidney function test as well so everything my um, creatinine everything blood postprandial sugar cbc everything came uh, okay and i consulted an online doctor she told you just take cranberry juice for you know for um, for your hunger pangs because since i'm doing a 15 hour fast every day almost 15 hour fast and today i didn't had anything i had a chicken soup but uh, you know without oil and ghee and butter and everything so the chicken soup uh, was like uh, you know very bland tasting very bland and uh, and um, uh, you know some raw smell was coming so i didn't take that chicken soup so i just had a bowl of salad and that's it for my lunch and uh, for morning i had two eggs uh, and that's it in the evening i will have my protein drink i mean that's all i will have and then tomorrow morning i have my um Uh, i have my gym and then after that i have to again go to uh, manipal for my internal medicine doctor consultation and day after i have my um uh, uh psychiatrist consultation i don't know when are these going to be over my god i want it to be over very soon so that i can you know i can follow my own uh, work routine and uh, this is the green tea i'm having this is green tea you can see green tea so uh, because uh, i keep on telling you know uh, in bangalore three things are happening right now one is the water crisis <laughs> uh one is the water crisis the second is the traffic crisis and uh, third uh, what is the third i don't know third is yeah some people uh, uh, you know um those who stay in multi storied buildings um i mean there's a joke circulating among us okay uh, there is uh, those who stay in multi storied building the landlords at uh, landlords are telling them please go to office and have a bath bath in the office and the office is telling ki please uh, you know work from home so that you can uh, save some water and in between um, the traffic uh, the traffic is always there in bangalore i don't know when it's going to get solved or whether it's going to get solved at all or not because traffic is increasing every day by day and it's going it's like you know it's like uh, it's like i mean uh, the traffic climate everything is going day 15 years back when i had come to first to bangalore it was such a nice place it was such a nice place and uh, i know few people might uh, you know um um uh, 
tell that the migrants who have come to Bangalore have created a, have created this kind of scenario. Maybe it's true. I I am equivocal with the you know Kannadigas that uh, maybe it's true. It's true that. Uh, the migrants have created a lot of problem because 15 years back when I had come to Bangalore, life was so easy, life was so good. We had so many bookshops on 100 feet road. I mean, I'm, I mean, I was uh, just so happy that I can read so many books. I mean, that time uh, Kindle was not there so, so much. Uh, and I was so happy that I could read so many books uh, by sitting there, by no, not buying books. They had a, such a beautiful coffee shop and that has been converted into um, um, a motorcycle showroom now. The motorcycle showroom closed and that has come up with a lot bar now, I mean a uh, night bar or something like that, uh, what they call. Uh, some kind of bar now I mean that is the you know how you degrade a place it's true I'm unequivocal with you guys those who are you know those who are the original residents of Bangalore I'm equivocal with them I'm equivocal with them I can see your pain I can feel your pain I can, you you also understand our pain that what I mean it's such a uh, I mean, uh, it's such a bad situation now that, uh, I mean, um, we have to, you know, uh, ration water in a way, ration water, we are rationing water every day. Uh, I mean, I'm the, not just washing, uh, you know, I'm just washing the essential items. And uh, uh, as such, I'm on a 15-hour fast, so I don't have, I mean, everybody uh, in my home, my mom, my husband, and uh, everyone, you know, they um, sort of, you know, ration water um, so that not many utensils are you know, there. The I think uh, the... Um, uh, Main problem is uh, with the rain showers, with the washing machine also guzzles a lot of water and uh, those who have that dishwasher, the dishwasher also guzzles a lot of water. So it is better to use, uh, you know, hand wash the dishes, hand wash the dishes and uh, minimize the use of water and uh, like uh, um, do your own stuff do your own work so that uh, you know um, again the weather is very dry so that uh, um, I mean uh, I mean uh, I mean um, um, uh, I mean, those who can contribute to the economy of this, you know, um, sometimes we have people from the neighboring country coming to Bangalore and, uh, you know, doing the menial jobs. They are not uh, contributing to the economy, um, to the economy much. I mean, what is the need for them to come to India and uh, work? As such, we are a very overpopulated country, and I'm not uh, talking about Bangalore in particular, but I'm talking about uh, each and every place in India. It's so overcrowded. I'll talk about uh, having children in the ne in my one of my next videos, but as of now, my this is a sort of uh, you know it started with mental health, so I want to keep it a mental health kind of thing. But uh, I do talk a variety of things. So, uh, you, know, you know, what the crisis we are facing. Uh, I'm not facing the crisis in my house, but I have heard that, uh, you know, uh, the tankers, uh, water tankers are coming to multi-story building and they are charging about per tanker about uh, 2,000 or 3,000 rupees. I exactly don't know. I have no idea about that. 
so that is the, the problem you know you have you uh, i mean doctors it professionals uh, are okay coming to bangalore but uh, those who are like menial laborers uh, i don't think they are contributing much to the economy or much to the development of bangalore why do they need to come to bangalore at all but that's a entirely a different uh, you know uh, perspective of things and i'm not speaking about them i'm speaking about my mental health i mean i'm uh, i know uh, people uh, do get uh, you know people will get irritated that why am i am speaking but uh, like this about you know my friends but uh, yeah definitely pop in the last 15 years i have seen bangalore from a very being a very uh, chilled out place to a very uh, crowded traffic pollution and there is the perennial water crisis always there is water crisis it's not meant to have so many people but anyway economy has to grow you know economy has a different way of functioning so anyway uh, today this much because uh, you know i have to prepare for tomorrow tomorrow is monday and um, my work starts my gym routine starts i have to you know follow my life so that's all about it hope you all are doing okay good and i think this is nobody watches my video mm, i don't have any viewers not to have any subscribers i mean uh, that whatever subscriber i had only two increased uh, so i don't have many subscribers i don't have views but this i think i do a lot of self talk kind of a thing with my from tomorrow is my bengali video and i will do only on mental health only on my health so that's it for now let's hope you all are enjoying your sundays have a great time and i do hope that i travel uh, start traveling uh, doctor will reduce my medicines i will start traveling and i'll have a good 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 time thank you all bye bye